Galactic Energy, a commercial Chinese space launch enterprise, successfully launched the third Ceres-1 solid rocket into orbit and maintained a 100% launch record. An achievement in itself and a great confidence for China, as well as the rest of the world, the Ceres-1 rocket featured three small satellites that were sent into 500-kilometer altitude sun-synchronous orbit. With five to six launches planned in 2022, the company is looking beyond solid rockets to reusable liquid launch vehicles which, if successfully, will be a major breakthrough for the Chinese presence in space. Already looked upon as the leader in Chinese commercial launch area, will Galactic Energy be the major competitor for the US commercial giant SpaceX? In this episode, we will discuss Galactic Energy, how it's the most powerful commercial space company, what it does special for the Chinese space program, and how it will help the Chinese space program in the long term. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content regarding China space program, consider subscribing. Found in 2018, the company is specialized in developing new commercial launch vehicles and offers low-cost and high-efficient engine systems to support rocket launches, increasing the resource usage efficiency for space exploration and reducing costs. With their main headquarter located in Beijing, the company has also set up in Jianyang, Sichuan. Galactic Energy conducted its first launch in November 2020 with the notorious Ceres-1 rocket and became the second commercial company in China to put a satellite in orbit. In December 2021, a second launch of Ceres-1 rocket made the company the first Chinese firm to have reached the orbit twice. Despite the late start in the Chinese space program, the galactic energy is undoubtedly moving fast and keeping up, if not ahead, of its counterparts in the commercial center of Chinese space program. China's commercial space companies made a lot of attempts to launch into orbit, but the success rate had been relatively low in the past. With the Ceres-1 launches, the Galactic Energy not only maintained their 100% success rate in orbital launches, but successfully put satellites into orbit. This was a key factor for the Chinese space program as a whole because the commercial companies abroad had already launched into orbit and were looking way past launches. Liu Hong, who is a systems engineer at the Galactic Energy, stated, For a private space company to be self-sustainable, mass production is a crucial step. The second successful launch of the Ceres-1 rocket has importance in this regard. Furthermore, the recent success is a milestone for China's private space industry, as it has marked a turning point from experimental launch phase to full commercialization of the launch vehicle. This experience will be valuable for other Chinese commercial space companies as well. Galactic Energy currently works on development of two launch vehicles, the Ceres-1, which is a solid-fueled rocket, and the Palace one which uses liquid kerosene. With five to six launches planned coming in 2022 second half, the firm could also potentially conduct a sea launch of the Ceres-1, facilitated by a new eastern seaport for sea launches established at Haiyang, Shandong Province. The four-stage Ceres-1 rocket carried three satellites and launched from the Jiquin Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert. The two satellites on board Taijing-101 and Taijing-102 were developed by Mino Space, which is a private small satellite manufacturer. These satellites are designed to provide commercial remote sensing services. The third satellite, Donghai-1 was developed by ASES Space and will work to verify multi-mode remote sensing and key technologies. With a 1.6-meter diameter payload fairing, the rocket featured a white color scheme for the first time. The previous two rockets were painted black. Galactic Energy is also looking to conduct a potential sea launch of the Ceres-1. This mission is its success was officially China's 30th orbital launch of 2022 and the fourth one, which didn't involve the famous Long March rockets. Chinese state-owned and commercial actors are developing a range of solid rockets, a trend perceived as intending to boost overall space capabilities and increase flexibility and access to space. Series 1 The Series 1 is a small solid-fuel orbital rocket for the commercial market. It is designed to put up to 350 kg payload into low Earth orbit and 270 kg into a 700 km sun-synchronous orbit. It consists of three solid fuel stages using hydroxyl-terminated polybutadiene fuel topped by a liquid-fueled stage. The rocket has a diameter of 1.4 meters, a length of about 20 meters, 
a mass at takeoff of about 33 tons and a liquid propellant upper stage. While they have smaller launch capabilities, they can provide flexible and more responsive launch services. The Cirrus 1 is particularly suitable for scattered launches of microsatellites or to replace satellites in a constellation. With $200 million funding secured for its launch, Palace One is a two-stage liquid and advanced upper-stage reusable carrier rocket designed by Galactic Energy. The first and second stages with the Welkin liquid oxygen or kerosene engines, the rocket diameter of 3.35 meters, a total length of 42 meters, a liftoff mass of 220 tons, a LEO orbit carrying capacity of 4 tons and 700 kilometers, sun synchronous orbit carrying capacity of 2 tons. It is planned to launch during the first half of 2023. This liquid-fueled rocket can carry multiple satellites in a single launch and has large lift capabilities. It is capable for deployment of Constellation networks. In January, Galactic Energy announced that it had secured $200 million in funds which, according to the company, will go to the Palace One launch and its related infrastructure. With plans for early 2023, the two-stage Palace One is designed to carry 5,000 kg to low Earth orbit or 3,000 kg to a 700 km sun-synchronous orbit. Galactic Energy also made serious progress on the 50-ton thrust Kangchon Carolox engine for Palace One during 2021. Galactic Energy is the leading enterprise in the domestic commercial launch vehicle field. It is the first private company in China to successfully achieve continuous rocket launch into orbit. It is also the first domestic company to enter a 500 km sun-synchronous orbit and the first to achieve a multi-satellite business in one go. Facing the booming commercial aerospace market, the company is committed to the innovative R&D and industrialization of a new generation of low-cost, high-reliability commercial launch vehicles, providing industry users with more flexible, fast, and economical space launch services, and solving the high launch costs of the commercial aerospace industry, the bottleneck problem of low frequency, so that space resources can be more easily integrated into future human life. In the future, Galactic Energy will continue to adhere to market-oriented independent technological innovation and in the face of the booming demand for commercial aerospace development, comprehensively improve quality control and mass production and launch capabilities, seize market opportunities for global satellite launches, and accelerate China's commercial aerospace industry. One thing we know about the Chinese space sector is that it moves too fast and it may be a bit difficult to keep up. While Galactic Energy is arguably called the leader of the Chinese commercial space sector, the other companies like CAS Space, ISPACE, Landspace ITSID are moving relatively fast in their own orbital launches, so Galactic Energy will need to innovate quickly and relentlessly in order to maintain their lead domestically. The company is also preparing launch for overseas customers and aims to have a market overseas. It will be able to provide well-planned launch services for customers in or outside of China. With everything about Galactic Energy and how they're leading the commercial sector of Chinese space program covered, it's time to wrap this one. We hope you've learned a good deal about the company and where they currently stand among their competition all over the world. Don't forget to subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we'll see you in the next one.